Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2. Last episode, Geno, our, our first leader guy, our first con, uh, passed away and went to the Sky Fathers, unfortunately. But now we are Emperor Alec of Magyar, con of the Magyar. So we are playing as a new character. Unfortunately, he is quite old. He's very old. He's 53 years old, and he's a lunatic. He's not that good of, an, uh, of a leader, so we don't know how, exactly how long this guy will be, be reigning for. Now, we did have to put down a revolt here. Uh, he actually dealt us a pretty significant loss the first battle we fought against him. We outnumbered him 4,250 men to 3,250 men. We still managed to get our asses handed to him and only inflict about 500 casualties. Unfortunate for me. But we raised up more troops. Do I have an ally with me? I think I do. I don't think that's just me. Yeah. Uh, we, we raised up some more troops. We actually increased the size of our horde. And I'm actually moving down south to declare war on uh, Karadaku. Because we are going to try to take Wallachia. This area right over here. That's actually really good for me because it's, it's in the direction I want to travel. Through the Byzantine Empire. So we're going to keep going down that way. Probably going to grab enough land to actually form another clan as well. But first we'll pillage and loot our way down. How do these guys feel about me these days? Like you. You you like me. Desires Duchy of Volcania. I mean, I haven't been really paying attention to that stuff. Ugh. All the way over here? Oh, it's because he has that one right there. I really haven't been paying much attention to any of this stuff. Mostly because it doesn't seem to matter, it matter nearly as much when you are a horde. Alright, so... Oh, you know what we can do? There we go. I was about to say, I knew, I, uh, why do I have uh, footmen in there? It's because they had um, been raised. And we're short a few minutes. That's such a weird number. Or short special troops. Yeah, down here. I don't like how it's uneven. 125 on one flank, 600 on another. And then we have 1,475 light cavalry here, but only 900 over here. This flank is sucking. But anyway, uh, this these guys don't really seem like they're in the uh, spot to be able to, to fight me off. So we are going to declare war on him. That one right there. Boom. We are definitely going to go to our military. We're going to call in... Uh, ooh, one of those guys has 4,000 men. I'm going to call you guys into this. And we're going to go straight down this way. We're going to start taking these lands. You know, war goal and whatnot. Of course, I will honor my obligation. That is the guy up here. Of course, I'll honor my obligation. This guy over here, I believe. Um, yep. He's gonna honor his obligation. This guy's been under me for a long time. Of course, he's gonna honor his obligation for... There's his men right over there. And actually, probably... Eh, this one we can wait on. I would like it if he had stayed up... Where did he go? I don't even see his men. I don't know where he is. Oh, it looks like the Byzantine Empire expanded. Took out... Kazia. Kazaria? Kazaria. I wonder... Hmm. Byzantine Emperor must have been taking advantage of the situation. The mountain wants to play with friends instead of studying. 50% chance of getting just, humble, shy. 60% chance of getting gregarious. That's pretty good. Roth and Deceitful. 10% chance of getting Arbitrary. Just is a great trait, though. Let's go with this. 60% chance for Gregarious. Gang Gregarious. Nice. So he's humble, brave, and Gregarious. He's a good He's a good little man. It looks like they're gonna siege. So we might have to go and do the... the fighting the battles thing, where they go and uh, sit around and do the siege thing. Unless these guys don't come for me. Let's just keep this up. 
16.2. 8. So one more tick should do the trick here. It looks like they're just going to sit there. I don't know why, but they will. Alright, there we go. And the rest of these, just whoop. 9 men died. 69 men died. 16%. Let's see if we can grab this army over here. Take out these 750 men would be most beneficial. And that's unfortunate. Well, that guy didn't last very long, did he? I have a new heir. My brother. God damn it. He reigned for two years. Two years. So now I am... Oh, God. Moses the Wicked. This is the guy I sent away. He's depressed. He's maimed. He's possessed by the devil. But then again, he does have some good traits. He's a he's a brave poet that's possessed by the devil. He's an adventurer. Fortune builder. He doesn't have a wife, though, so let's get him married first. Just like always, we're going to try to find a genius. So if we can breed some good genes. There's one right there. Uh, definitely going to take the prestige. And we, do we have to recall these people? You know what we need to do, though? Um, we don't have our blood oath. So we're going to reform that. God, I hope this guy lasts a little longer. Alright, I guess he's going to be a virtuous possessed maniac. Oh, is possessed gonna come up give, gonna give me any cool things? I wonder. Well, that army's just sitting there. Okay, we're his brothers. Good. The mountain needs a new... God, this guy... What is this kid cursed? All the people who, who teach him keep dying. Right, did we oh, we took everything over there already. Okay, so this is actually going to get me a border with the the Byzantine Empire, which is very interesting because I did plan on having to fight them. I don't know how they could probably raise a pretty penny in terms of troops. <laughs> Not nearly as many as I expected. All right, that's a lot fewer than I expected, but we're just going to keep on going. See, what is this going to be at? 6.2. So it's going to take a little bit longer. We need to keep upgrading our, our capital here. We're going to do this one. So this guy loves me. These guys don't. Low prestige and is basically causing me them to not really like. So this guy. Let's do it over here. We're going to improve clan sentiment with him. Alright, we need to train some warriors. We need to... Let's do oversee construction, actually. Wow, that did not take long. She's pregnant already. We're gonna scheme. We're gonna research some cultural tech as well. Alright, so we're taking care of this stuff. Are you sieging down this land? You are sieging down that land. Thank you. Alright, there we go. We're going to keep ranging south for a while. Okay, this is what I was looking for. An enemy army to fight. So first we're going to move up here and we're going to take out this army right here of reinforcements. And then we're going to move over there and we're going to go for the main one. Because this guy's going to be easy to take out. Probably be able to do it with very, very few losses. Siege down that guy's capital. They're not going to leave. I might take attrition going into the mountains, though. No, that's planes. Never mind. I'm going to get out on the 27th. I'm going to arrive on March 4th, so that's not going to fly. All right, let's let's uh, let's head over this way. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to catch him. So we're going to avoid the river by going up through Course Sun and striking down this way. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Or maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe let's just go after him.
Okay, this should not be too terribly difficult. I mean, we do have them split in half. So unless they can somehow get those armies together, without my permission... And... Oh, damn it. Come on. Catch these guys. They're just as fast as I am. That's the problem. Right, at least we got these 500. We lost one, two men. Oh, we got them that time. Excellent. Nice. There we go. Much better. All right, now we're going to come over here. We're going to take back this guy's capital. Because he's helping me out. Might as well go help him out. Oh, am I still not married? Unmarried heir. My brother. My brother needs a wife. Looking for someone with some really good traits. Ooh, possessed. A son was born to Moses the Wicked. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how it looks like it should be pronounced. Uh, Frigius. I call him Frigius. Ooh, look at this. So, that's pretty decent right there. Oh, raiders, you motherfuckers. All raiding my land. Can we catch him? Yes, we caught him. My half-brother of the mountain lacks all passion and ambition, perfectly content with his lot in life. Gains the trait content. Now, is he still... He's not even... Maybe because he's a kid, he's not even in here. But I'd like the mountain to be good. I'm trying to make him good. Loses content. Keeps content. Uh, he's going to lose content. Because we kind of want the mountain to be our ruler. It's, if it's possible, at some point, I would like the mountain to be ruler. Alright, now over here to take back this land. We're at 49%, thankfully. Oh, and we're going to take out... We're, we're going to actually come to blows with their main army here. Fortunately, we had a river crossing, but it looks like it's not going to cost us that badly. Nope, not too bad at all. Should actually give us a lot of war score. We're going to chase him down before we siege anything. I always feel like it's better to take out the armies before you do any sieging, if you can. What is this? Ruler unmarried. Oh, she's dead already. Did she die in childbirth? She may have died in childbirth. But she did produce a genius son. Kind of awesome. Well, that's unfortunate. They were married for less than a year, I think. Let's try another genius. There are no more geniuses. Let's try quick. Right, there are a couple quick characters. 30. Humble, greedy, ambitious, kind, and quick. Let's go with you. Let's patrol them. And the mountain still needs... God damn it, this kid. He's like, I swear to God, this kid is cursed. It's actually kind of interesting. Well, for now, let's, um... Let's take this one back. There we go. And let's see if we can cut these guys off. Ooh, 5,000 men. Alright, now I'm a little frightened. The White Bear. Late you have a room from peasants to travelers to strange... Is that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in the realm? It's a white bear, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world. The hunter claims it will be imbued with its divine power. Let's find it. So we need to get our uh, recoup our losses before we go back into battle. We also need good commanders. There we are. Wish the other clans would actually help me out, but they're too busy being dicks. Well, we're 73% of the way done. If they... If one of their army... Let's see, one of their armies is going to arrive on the 16th, and one's going to arrive on the 22nd. Yeah, I don't know if that's exactly going to fly, but I know they're going to try to get over here, get up to get, get together with their other armies. So I should probably try to take out these little armies over here. Like this. Are you guys gonna- you're gonna come to me? Yeah, he's coming at- he's coming at me. I'm gonna sit right here and wait for him. This is planes. 
Yeah, well, I'm gonna have six days to fight the the army before the other one arrives, so we're def we're just gonna sit there. Yep, we have sight credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Bear. So the reinforcements arrived. My reinforcements are coming as well, March 5th. Hopefully we can uh, outlast them. We're losing men, but they're losing morale. Come on, reinforcements. There we go. That did the trick. Pretty epic battle. Very large. A lot of dead people. Let's see. We lost 2,331 men. They lost 3,571 men. Perfect. That actually got me a 100% war score. Yep, we're enforcing that. Boom. What is this? Press ducal claims now. And, ooh, shit. Did I get a, get a kingdom there? No clan. Duchy of Kiev. No. I don't think so, at least. Press ducal claims. Why do I have ducal claims over here? I will figure it out. Clans want more land, that's understandable, considering what just happened. Um, now all this stuff... Settle is feudal. Can I not pillage the hell out of this area? Oh, you know, it's because I don't personally own that stuff, that's why. This is my vassal. He's a feudal Tengri. Interesting. Well, that is definitely interesting. And so I control all of this land right here. But he control... Nope. This is one guy. This is one guy. I can't... I can't pillage it because I don't personally own this stuff. Other people do. Eh, that's okay. It's get a little, little, getting a little confusing, but that's alright. This is all Tengri. Not exactly all Hungarian down this way, but we'll take care of it. Are there more cultures or fewer cultures than there were before? It doesn't seem as confusing to me anymore. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. So we're going to go up here and try to take out these guys. That's fine. Titles can be usurped. It's going to cost me gold to do that. I really don't have a ton of gold. So I want to keep building. Cultural tech points. What else can I build? Cattle pens. Sheep nomad tax. Or Starcher offensive. I took a lot of losses. Oh well. It was bound to happen. The battles are getting uglier. I'm glad my reinforcements came when they did, otherwise I would have lost. And we have a faction. Overthrow the Khan. This guy wants to overthrow me. He wants that duchy. Yeah, give it to him. Yep. You have gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. Okay, we're going after the Great White Bear. So we gave that guy an another county. No big deal. So he likes me a lot more now. That should probably take care of you. Spend weeks in the wilderness searching or any trace of your prey, forced to return empty-handed. It is because my retainers are useless. Gains arbitrary. Lose 20 prestige, but uh, I also gain humble and plus one to marshal. Plus one to marshal is going to help. Where's my plus one? Oh, that's not me. This is me. Well, could be worse. Was that up here? I think that was up here. Really? I just gave you land. Alright. That's the way you want to do this. That's the way we'll do it. They always get those, uh, I think those are event spawned armies. Whoa! Shit, that's not good. The Byzantine Empire just declared war on me. Okay, that could be problematic. 
Let's go to Kiev and wait for our, well, we're gonna hang out near them and wait for our manpower to recover. So the Byzantine Empire, I was afraid that getting a border with them might not be the greatest idea in the world, but I didn't expect them to declare war on me that quickly. All wars. Call everybody into all wars. Ugh, I can't believe these two guys are sitting in prison for how long? In their in their dark dungeons. Oh, and there goes another one. Who was that? Uh, if we go to di diplomacy, Byzantine Empire. Thought there was another one. You son of a bitch! You and your four thousand men. Now, see, now I don't have the confidence in my men I did before. I wonder why... Oh, see, he's got all those light cavalry. I've got just as many light cavalry. I've got... Last time I attacked somebody with a thousand more men than me, I got my ass handed to me. Have I not chosen... I have not cho chosen a warhorse. So the last time I chose a warhorse, it didn't do me shit. Alright, I'm a little frightened now. So the Byzantines are coming for me. I don't approve of that. Let's go take his capital. Maybe they'll fight the, uh... My half-brother lacks passion and ambition. Oh, he's really set on being content, isn't he? Maybe they'll fight the, uh, the horde there? This, this, this army right there? And do it for me? That would be preferable. Like, this flank annoys me. It's just, it's not evenly distributed. Can I... Can I auto-balance? Better. So we're gonna take his... his wagon logger here. And hopefully that'll get me some more score with him. God damn it, I just fucking gave this guy land, too. Oh, yay! I was hoping for that. That actually works. They're going to kind of annihilate each other. Or he's just going to completely wreck the Byzantine army. Alright, patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerve. My half-brother never loses his temper. Uh, can I not abate recklessness? Happy with upbringing. Patient. Patience is a great trait. Alright, so... We're gonna try to go over here... Well, we can't take a river crossing penalty. I, he got his ass handed to him, but not that badly. Not nearly as well as I expected him to. I expected the Byzantines to do much better than that. They really did. He did, he did not take very many losses. I mean, we can actually beat the Byzantines into submission. Kind. That's a good trait. Well, let's see what we can do. Excellent. Come on, come on, here we go. Uh, I don't like what's happening to my center. My center is already folded. But his right flank is folded. And I lost again. Something is amiss with my army. I had the men. I had the the, the advantageous position. Oh god damn it! He's gonna wreck me now. Oh come on! What the hell happened? I don't. I'm not really getting what's going on here. He keep the the, the enemy armies keep wrecking me. Not really sure, and I really don't know why. He barely lost that. Like, he lost 600 men. They're already back. God damn it. Maybe I can... Hi I'm, I'm gonna need to hire in some people. Cool. Okay. I mean, we can try. And grab some more men where, 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 they, where they're at. Those raiders are just pillaging my land now. Oh, I can't believe that guy won. That annoys me. 
I cannot believe he won. So military, mercenaries. Most of these bands are already hired out or are very tiny. Look at the cost. I can't keep... I can barely keep them up and it's going to completely destroy my treasury. Maybe go for one of the cheaper ones. We just need more men. I don't know what it is that's costing me to lose these battles. It's like, advantageous position. Um, troop numbers. I just don't know what it is that's causing me to lose. And now we're, all of our guys are getting destroyed in this battle here with the Byzantines. Because I didn't- I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, and he's already got his troop numbers right back up to where they were. It's only like cavalry. I feel like I should be wrecking them. Now, if he comes and hits me now, I'm, I'm boned. Because my morale is zero. But he's not moving, so we can... We can have my guys funneled down here, because he's not moving. It's gonna cost... It's costing... It's gonna cost me a ton of money to get these mercenaries to fight for me, but... Kinda got to at this point. I'm very shocked that he did as well as he did in that battle. Very shocked. Some, there's something wrong with my armies. I don't know if it's... He's got better commanders. Or maybe his... You know, his, he's got better troop dispositions. Something is amiss. Don't know exactly what it is. But something's wrong. And it's hurting me. Yeah, look at the amount of war score he got from that battle. Since we all die anyway, why do we so hassle about life? I suppose you're right. 50% chance of gains chase or temperate. I guess we'll go for that. Use chase. That's not good. Well, it's not bad either. I don't know where my allies are anymore. Alright, let's hang out right next to him. Like, last time I had 1,000 more men than him, and it didn't do me a damn lick of good. Now I have 2,000 more men than him. Well, at the end of this month, it should probably be 2,000. Fucking event spawn troops. So we got 7,000 men here. Let's go get them. And hope for the best. Alright. I'm on the top, he's on the bottom. This time we got him. Yeah, with these, uh, with these horde armies, somebody's gonna win and somebody's gonna lose and there's no middle ground. I only had one battle, I think, so far, where I fought a horde where it was actually, you know, kind of even. Fighting the Byzantines is actually not very hard at all. Just because I am horsemen and they're not. So my guys tend to wreck theirs. Alright, so you offer peace and force demands. He's in prison now. So now all of my guys are in prison except the one. I can't believe these guys are not dying. Now, we need to go over... We need to fucking finally go... Take care of this shit. And then we have to sweep back down and go fight the Byzantines again. Well, for starters, let's save myself some money. Disband vassals. Yeah, let's get rid of those, and let's get rid of those. Fucking Byzantines. Well, they're in the middle of a revolt now, so it's not like we're going to be able to... Or they're going to be able to make war with us very easily. Let's crank this all the way up. What? This, something... I, I don't know what it is about... Maybe I need more special troops, more of these archers. I have a lot of light cavalry. Maybe I need more heavy cavalry. I need something... I, I need something in my army. You know, it really took a hit on my population, you notice that? Something in my army's composition just isn't right. I'm not sure what it is. They're all heavy cavalry. And they seem to do perfectly fine with that. Heavy cavalry, light cavalry. They're all light cavalry. 
Oh, look how slow this movement is. Come on, go! Your horseman, you can move faster than that. These guys have just been sitting in my land, pillaging it for how long now? All these people are just sitting in jail now. Kind of waiting for them to die. They're outlasting multiple rulers on my end, though. And he's gone. Well, we'll completely wipe him out. And then we have to go fight the Byzantines. Well, back to the other end of the Empire. The rot. That didn't cost me as much money as I really as I expected. Who the fuck are these guys? Just looters from Pomerania or something? Or maybe up here? Saxony's... Very revolty right now, it looks like. Well, who's occupying this? Bohemia. And Pomerania. Bohemia and Pomerania really carved up Saxony. Alright, back down to the south. Um... What can we get out of them if we enforce our demands? 360 gold and 100 prestige. It's not a lot. That 360 gold ain't bad. How much does she have? Not that much. Honestly, not that much. Clan sentiment. Fishing village. Population growth. Uh, cattle pen is nomad tax and population growth. So we're going to do that one first. Doing the best we can to keep our... Or capital, capital E. Yeah, I, I feel like all these guys being in jail is not a good thing. Like you, sir. What if? Well, let's let's release you. Now you love me. So that's kind of Vladimir. Uh, that's this one. We can actually we could do that. Grant landed title. So we don't necessarily need that one. Alright, so. Let's take a look at our clans. I need I need somebody to actually fucking like me. So, are we improving clan sentiment here? No, we're not, but we can. Let's improve our clan sentiment. Sentiment. Not settlement. Sentiment. Alright, there we go. Army's coming back down the way it came. Uh, the Byzantines are occupying two of my holdings here. They've got their own revolt. I you know, if I wanted to, I could probably march straight to Constantinople and sack the shit out of it. Uh, play with another child yesterday. Notice he didn't have to share his toys. Gains greedy. Oh, who is the uh, current... My half-brother. My brother. Is the current... Current heir. Uh, not great. Hmm. Yep, yep, yeah, make a move, why don't you? Make a move, alright, let's get back over here, get back into the fray. Gave her a good tumble, that's kinda awesome. Uh, siege then, just, whoop! Take that right back. And, whoop. And we're gonna take this right back. Just like that. As soon as it's done, auto-saving, of course. Come on. Finish auto-saving, there you are. Alright, now I got 26% war score with the Byzantines. I'm going to take the fight to them by marching my horde into their land, and then we're going to end this episode. Ooh, not used to having that many men there. We could actually go, you know... Should we just go straight to the capital? I am pretty great after all. Loses humble. Okay. I'm going to end this episode right here. Our horde of Hungarian barbarians are going to march into Constantinople and see if we can do anything about that. If you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.